G'day everyone. Thanks for tuning in. System's still going great. Well over a year now in operation. No issues at all. No power bills, only credits. This is the 42 kilowatt hour battery I came up with. Very cost effective, really robust. I'll show you down here the cell balancing. So it's been smooth sailing. Everything's worked like a charm. The reason I'm making this update today is the GUI mod in the servo is uh, an older version, so it's no longer working. I've lost that feature. So today I'm going to go through the process of updating that mod and I'll get my uh, remote console back the way I like it. So I'll go up to the PC, we'll grab that new install and put it into the servo, load that up and go back and set all the parameters up. We're also going to make the system more efficient and move this array up on top of the roof. In the middle of winter, there's too much shade on this end of the panel. So we can move another array that's up on the roof there and then put this one up where that was and shift the other one out to the patio. None of this roof space has panels on it yet. So that uh, other system that I'm going to shift from the other side of the house will go on top of here and extend across onto this roof as well. That'll leave plenty of room for those panels to go up on top of the main roof. Make sure you keep up with those episodes coming out soon. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And you won't miss a thing. I thought I'd show you how noisy the units are while they're running. The air conditioning is operating inside. I'm also cooking lunch. Uh, and the wife's in the salon, so there's a fair bit of power being used inside. You can hear the MPPT there. The fan running. Still fairly quiet. It, uh, it's still only on a very low setting there, even though it's working fairly hard. just kicked in then on that inverter. It's still very quiet. Here's the master. Those other two were the slaves. and cool to touch. Up the top here where the hot air is coming out, 30 degrees. I've turned the cooling fan off while I'm recording. I'll just turn it on to show you. So fresh air is pumped in here and through the back of the panel. There's a little fan there to keep the power supply cool. and then the hot air is exhausted through that whirly bird. We'll go inside now and we'll start on that update for the remote console. Now that version of the software is incompatible with the Victron system you can see the console has dropped back to the standard interface. I can't click on the battery anymore and bring up the details or the inverters or MPPTs. There's uh, no voltage and current on the AC load window anymore. So we'll go to the site where we need to download that software from and then load it up onto the servo and get things running again. 
Here's the site you need to go to to get the software for the GUI mod. Just scroll down and click here, Venus Data. I'll leave the link in the description to this page. So you come here, go down to there, click on that one. That will download onto your computer. Once you've done that, transfer that data onto an empty USB stick. So there we go, I've got my drive there. I'll put that zip file on that stick. Don't unzip it, just leave it as is. And then we'll go down the shed and install that on the servo. While you're here, make sure you check out the rest of the channel. There's plenty of information on how to set up an off-grid system for yourself. I've brought up the USB drive there and I'm going to format that drive using XFAT before we do anything else. go that's formatted and over on the side here you can see I've got that downloaded Venus data now that we've got a fresh format on that drive grab that Venus data there here's the folder over here that zip folder right click that and copy that paste that into the drive and leave that file zip just like that and then remove that drive from the computer and we can take it down to the power shed and go from there I'll remove this cover now from the enclosure I'll use this enclosure to keep the servo mechanically protected and keep some of the dust off Either of these two USB ports here can be used to upgrade that software. That third one is for the monitor. So I'll plug into that first port there and then reboot the system via the console. I've got my USB drive there, freshly formatted with XFAT and then that Venus data has been copied and pasted onto there. We just plug it into the servo and reboot the system via the console up inside. This is the LAN cable that I have connected to the servo, which goes down to this switch and is connected by an underground cable back into the network of the house. We're back in the office now, on the console, go back into the menu. I'm going to general settings and click reboot. I've been on the GUI mods website and I found out there's no future updates for this version of the UI. So therefore we have to go into the settings of the servo and check your firmware. If you've gone past version 3.42, that mod won't work anymore. So what I did to fix this is went into my stored backup firmware, and then I had 3.5 running, which had stopped that mod from operating. So what I did is disabled automatic updates so auto update there is now disabled and then come back to your stored firmware and you press to boot on this version 3.42 so once you do that 3.42 will be running you won't uh, upgrade your firmware from that point onwards if you want to keep this GUI mod. 
once you've uh, gone back to version 3.42, the mod will operate with the system again. Settings is back at the top there. And the pages are back to how I had them before. You can click on each of the windows and check out the state of each device. So a lot more information. I'd rather just keep this running and not have the firmware upgrade for now. Alright guys, thanks for watching that quick update. How to get your mod back going again. Stay tuned for those upgrades on the solar arrays. We'll be going through all the wiring, circuit protection, and connecting into the system. It'll be a big boost and a lot more consistency. All right, guys, take it easy. We'll catch you in the next episode.